The defined ego at a very young age is seething confidence. Yeah. You come out only <clears throat> only about 30% of the population have a defined ego and the ego manifester yeah. is constantly doing what they want when they want it because they want to. And, and they, they are looked at and they can and they yeah. are looked at like they are selfish. And other people, right, 70% of the population with open egos are amplifying this egoic energy. It triggers the not self theme of I'm not good enough. And people when at, from a very young age are smacking down high right. humility, mm -hmm. smacking down the ego manifester, hey, saying, how dare you be so full of yourself? How dare you be so selfish? How dare you do the things that you want to do? Now, the wounding around a defined ego can be very similar, except more consistent than an undefined ego. So the self-hatred, the self-loathing, the unable to take a compliment, mm. unable to see anything good in themselves for fear that they will get in trouble, for fear that if they do what they want or think good about themselves in any way, they will get punished because right. that is what has been happening to them their entire lives. And so a lot of an analyst will look at an ego manifester and be like, wow, you're so bold and you're so confident. And the yep. ego manifester is like, what are you talking about? I literally hate myself, right? They would have There's to a have lot of wounding would, around that. They would have to have, have sort of lucked into the right thing early on for that to been not around, really be the case. Yeah, been around people who empowered them, who made them feel like, you know, for an ego manifester, they are designed to be so selfish. And when I use that word, I tell my ego manifestors, look at your body graph, look at your incarnation cross, right? Like you are selfishly designed to uplift and support your tribe. It's, you are it's, it's selflessly. Right? Yeah, selflessly. And right? to love it. And for that to be the one thing that they keep loving the fact that they say, I did that. I did it. Oh, and I no, did but it. it my reward but it isn't, is here. Right, but it isn't selfless. It is no. selfish. selfish. I will selfishly uh, support, uplift, uh, um, do this thing. Um, yes. I call it the hype man thing because when you have a defined ego, you are designed to know your worth and value. And when you know your worth and value, you see the worth and the value of everyone around you. So a really true self ego manifester is going to stand in their center of confidence and selfishly bring everybody up to their level. You can do it. Let's try again. Let's hype you up. Let's see your worth and your value. Let's be through that amazing voice right? through that amazing yeah, voice, that yeah. voice, that voice yeah. that just doesn't say yes. I have resources. I have the right words. I have the right tone for you right now. Yes. I have the right rhythm. Yes. I'm saying the right stuff. I yeah. got the right idea. We got the yeah. right motion and the tribe yeah. is correctly safe or not, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how helping. can we encourage them to be self helping them understand that selfish is their superpower? Right. So uh, if as a manifester, they're still going to inform as a strategy, they're still going to recognize the power of their impact. They're still going to see how much they love their own peace and how quickly they get angry. And the yeah. thing for them would be to see how quickly their anger takes on a very powerful, powerful voice and that would be their experiment the powerful voice of their anger they should tape record themselves so they can hear it you hey, just if you're went over that. our bullet point of <laughs> course Unwavering we did. energy of your <laughs> right yeah well that just occurred to me the power of that voice when it is angry just a, <laughs> and it's, it's powerful in all the cases but that yeah. one is very specifically so and so yeah. Think I think about the how... only thing that uh, wasn't gone over, right, is so when you have this particular authority being part of the material plane and focusing on material things is completely correct for you. But again, the world's like, oh, my God, like, you don't need more stuff. You're being so materialistic. And that would apply to maybe everyone else, but not the ego authority. And go, Willie. that can Sorry. start feeling... Like, for example, I have an ego uh, manifester friend and she loves shopping and she is like she feels a type of way about it. She's like, oh, I, I don't think I need this many clothes, but it just like feels good to shop. And like now looking at her design, I'm like, oh, girl, that's right for you. You keep buying whatever you want. There's nothing wrong I, with that. I like these bullet points. 
um, mm -hmm. this energy um, fosters consistent motivation and drive. You spoke to that, Tretha. Um, it correlates with the openness um, to the material plane in its in its own design and in its decision making. Um, when forced with what let's say when faced with significant decisions, trust your immediate verbal responses. There's part of that strategy. There's part of how that authority gets heard. The power of the ego re of the ego reward that it feels when it's good. It feels heart good when it is feeling and speaking its strength. That's how it knows because when it doesn't feel good, in fact, it feels good, doesn't feel good. It seems like every single one of our authorities has this element of it. Does that feel good? And, like they're so no, and they're, they're so different. And they're so different. And they they're so different because the way that the spleen feels good is completely different than how the, the ego, ego in the ego right yeah, the ego right right this so this whole concept of patting the ego on the back yeah this is that. such a foreign concept to people like you too because it's not <laughs> something that egos. you and and when you come across ego people like me you can't understand why I'm always talking about how good I am or how good I did or how good the, the not self like the undefined ego people will look at ego beings and be like, wow, you're really full of yourself. Like, mm -hmm. ew, you're super conceited. Mm -hmm. And right. they will take they will take but for a true healthy ego, they has to be confident. And there's a big difference between confidence and conceit. Right, right. Confidence right. says I am as good as I know that I can be, and conceit says I am better than you. Right. right, right. I heard this example a while ago um, about um, a heart surgeon. You better That's believe so that that heart surgeon is confident. You better believe that that man who is operating on you knows that he knows what he's doing. And he knows that he is good at what he is doing. That is the definition of a really good defined ego. But if they're with an open ego being who cannot tell them they're good, you're going to have a big problem in your relationship. Right, right. Because defined right. ego beings need to hear it. Hey, you did so good. You look really good. I'm so proud of you. you Think know? of what the ego is really the heartbeat of. It is the heartbeat of all of our tribal instincts, all of our tribal ways. It is the heartbeat of the tribe because all the roads of the tribal circuitry go to the ego first. Yeah. <clears throat> before given yeah. its one outlet for expression or individual uniqueness, one of the two. Yeah. And so with all that tribal supportiveness, that's, it's always going to be that support me, make me feel good. And, right. and in that moment, they get this reward that actually lasts for a while. And open ego people, their reward doesn't last very long. My reward is only ever a minute or two. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go back to compliments. I'll read comments. I'll read messages. And I'll be like, I did a really good job. I killed it. I'll go I back to it, it like days later. Mm. I'll sometimes I'll just like look at my achievements, accomplishments. And, and, and what I teach all of my ego beings is that you have to start telling yourself you're good. I'm good mm. at this and I'm good at that. And I love myself for this. I'm so not I'm just good. blustering. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Yeah. And if you love me, you're going to say, that's great. I hear it. And if yeah. you think I'm not that, then I know that I need to move from your direction. I need to move away from you a little bit. And so I have a, a query. So this is the last bullet that I'm like, okay. So I have a friend of mine that has always kind of taken jobs um, that she knows she's too good for. <laughs> but she takes them anyway. Yep. Because she's like, this is, you know, this is what my resume has. This is what I know. And she puts up with things that doesn't feel good. And yeah, it's very interesting again, like now like diving into like the her ego thing. It's like, no, like what's correct for her is going after the jobs that does make her feel good about her worth instead of just settling. Right, right. But the but the wounded ego mm. is is too hurt to tell themselves that they deserve more. They're too afraid. What if I get smacked down again? What if I get mm -hmm. in trouble? What if I start to feel big and it feels so good and then it gets taken away from me? Again. 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 Yes. Right. right. And, and it is all deeply connected to money because money is support. Mm -hmm. What do you need to support the tribe? You need money to feed the tribe, to house the tribe, to close the tribe. And so a lot of ego beings have money wounds. Mm -hmm. They say, I can't do something. I'm too afraid to be bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to settle for something that I know 
makes money because what if I can't make anymore? And little do they know that they're here to make money. Right, right. You know? Literally. Literally. And, they can't and, and gather not. resources and yeah. fill up that hole that says I have, which they do have. And yeah, and as a matter of, of sorry, Danny, I cut you off. Well, the flip side of that was some, not the flip side, but another side is just that sometimes there's that ego that does make money and does so maniacally and without, yeah. without pause or consciousness of what, and sometimes even ruthlessly. That's the thing. The ego can be ruthless. The ego helps, you know, do all the things <laughs> that tribes yeah. have to do. It's, yeah. It's just, well, and the not self version. I think that most the not self version is what I'm referring to are, because, because yeah. we have to look out for that a lot. People have to see to look out right. for all these things. Right. Right. Well, the, well, talking about pure ego manifestors, this is the whole channel of money. Gate mm -hmm. 21 into gate 45. Gate 20. It's funny because the gate of I have isn't in the ego. The gate of I have is in the throat. That's right. That gate 45 right there. Yep. Right? Yep. Gate 21 is the warrior. Gate 21 goes out and says, I can go get that. I can go slaughter that animal and bring the meat back to my king. And gate 45 right. is the king. And gate 45 says, I have the provisions and I will then dole the provisions out to the tribe. Along with the education of the tribe. I will inform the, the tribe. Education. It's right in the whole thing. The whole thing yeah. about the archetype. Whenever they show an archetype of the manifestor, you know, when, when Ra would do all the body graphs, he would always have a 214 for the generator. And he would always have one of the uh, splenic channels, usually for uh, for the um, uh, uh, projector. For the projector, yep, or or sometimes like identity. And he would always have the twenty one forty five for the manifester. That would always, at least, it would always be one of his go to slides. And that's for a reason because that is the voice of the tribe. That's what this ego and this channel and this whole being wants to do. In reality, I want to show you how it works. If they're a proper nine centered aligned being. They're interested in the spirit being lifted through the communion of a good direction for its people. It's good. It's filled with all the right stuff. And they need to educate people on how to stay a part of that. Yeah. And and what is the right stuff to an yep. ego being? Yep. Poor money, resources, abundance. That's the right stuff. And so going back to the example of your friend, Moana, who really loves Trump, of course she does. Because there's resources within that. There's stability within that, you know? And there could be some other things in her chart that yep. say mm -hmm. other, you know, gate 19s are very much like <laughs> fill my refrigerator full of food. Right. You know, right have right. the things, you know, like there's different things around that. But um, on to the next slide. Yeah. All right. Yep. They only have six steps. <laughs> <laughs> and decision. Yep. So uh, when they are faced with a decision, so at the end we're talking about manifestors, they need to speak out loud what they're feeling. Don't Without think. Without overthinking. Just, no, don't yeah, think. Just blurt it out. Literally no just blurt out speaking. from your mouth what the thing is. And then assess right. that decision uh, and see if it aligns with your goals and your values. And see if you get financial gain from it or personal <laughs> fulfillment. And then trust that verbal response that just blurted out um and it will be very clarity if it's so correct. clarity yes clarity will emerge spontaneously if this is your channel funding yourself and giving you this is your life force you're that ego manifester um that will absolutely bring all kinds of that spontaneity i mean the throat all the roads lead to rome in that throat center and it's the throat would love to be spontaneous with everything it, every one of its voices would love to except maybe 12 is is cautious, but I'm well, spontaneous. Me and 35 might say, "Well, I'm full for the moment." But other so than that, if you all go back here, right, the decision time, right, it can be immediate. However, it can sometimes take a little longer depending on what the thing is, right? right. So, sorry, Tressa, go ahead. I just want to point out the cruel cosmic joke of all ego Please. manifestors because Liz like, like think about what we're saying we're saying uh speak your response immediately talk say it out loud what do you want what do you want what does your heart want what are your dreams <coughs> and you're saying this about a manifestor with no emotional system who struggles more than anything to speak their truth a manifestor who's who's learned to sugarcoat what they want 
in order yep. to avoid the emotional wave of another so that they don't get in trouble, so that they don't get the energetic backlash of pissing somebody else off. I mean, this is a really hard thing that Oof. ego manifestors struggle with when they're informing about what they, and not to mention the shame. They are so shameful around talking out loud about what they actually really want, right? Must it's not easy for time. them. Yep. Yeah, it's not easy for them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and again, like when you're not in practice with this kind of thing, something that you can try is just keep talking out loud. Just keep talking out loud. And then hopefully as they're talking out loud, it'll get blurted out again at some point. But if it doesn't come out when you're just like saying, okay, what do I want? And then your mind takes over, just talk it out loud with friends or with loved yeah. ones. And then in the conversation, it might just spill out. Um, and of course, fears and doubts are going to come up even more so for you, like Tressa said, because you, you've you learned to shut that part of yourself down. Oh, I don't want to be perceived a certain way. I don't want people to say this or think this about me. So it is yeah. going to take a lot of practice. <laughs> Yeah, the best, best thing you could ever do, if this is you, if you're an ego manifester, find a friend who has a defined ego. Because they get it. Yeah. Find a friend who, you know, is not going to judge you, who's not going to think that you sound conceited, who's not going to get you in trouble, who's not going to criticize you, who's not going to tell you what to do. Just find a friend that you can actually... You know, but 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 one of the most important things they could do is find a friend who has a big fat ego. Yeah, yeah, big so. fat ego. We love those big fat. Yeah. By the way, there is no one channel that makes it called the big fat ego. It's being yeah. defined. Is it's big just fat being ego. defined. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. that center yeah. being defined. Yeah, yeah. And then again, I'm just gonna circle back to all the news. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. This lovely tiny key. Yeah, tribe. this is Tress's yeah. chart, everyone. Just in case you yeah. didn't know, this is Tress's so chart. So this she has it defined because it's colored in. So yeah. that's yeah. what you're looking for. Find a friend who has this colored in. They could be whatever type. If that's like my son, he's a generator, but he hasn't defined ego. So he could. Awesome. Full friend. screen. <laughs> No, we're not done. Sorry. <laughs> we're not this done. Is... <laughs> Go. Uh, so to round this slide out, right? You know, other than saying, does this serve me? It's just like, do I want this? And if the answer is yes. I know the first step in yes. decision making. The first step in decision making, if you are this ego manifester, is to not only think to yourself back to does it feel good, but do you feel at peace? And was this the impact you wanted mm. to make? Mm. Mic drop. Yes, yeah. that's that's, slide, that's their basically. inner authority decision making. Because Moana, what we're talking about is how do I the the being that who I think I am integrate and speak to the body that Tressa so clearly teased apart. Well, you know, mo earlier, how do I speak to that thing? How do I speak generally so I can interface with my genome that is navigating my truth? And it's, do I, am I at peace with this? Am I noticing I'm getting agitated? Am I unable to relax? Or am I at peace with this? Is it good? Do I feel good? Does it feel good? It still feels good. I don't care if it's what the center is because it can feel bad. So it knows when it feels good is the point. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. Let's clarify the word good because good is good, but yep. confident, do that. confident, confident, knowing, yep. Mm -hmm. right? Um, yep. Um, yeah. supported, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just Ooh. powerful. Ooh, powerful. Do I feel powerful? powerful. Yes, I want to. I can powerful. do this. I can. I am right. Yeah. Those are you all you feel very full. Good. I have, I have. You feel full. Feel. Yes, yeah. yeah. Full yeah. of all Those the are good all very stuff. like ego good, good mm. ego things. Yes, and so, so you trust. notice those, yeah. and you move, and, and that's what lets you know you're interfacing with actually this authority inside of you because yeah. we're always trying to get people to enter the experiment where they interface and see it. Go ahead, Moana. I was gonna say, trust that pretty much railroaded through all this without the slide. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> she didn't even need it. Um, uh, but you know, just to quickly run over it, there's some serious people pleasing tendencies that can happen for this authority. Like my friend, I was telling you, like she will put everyone else before herself. That belief um, of self-sacrifice. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Coming and up. um, 
just know that that's conditioning of your authority type. Um, and it's okay to feel selfish. You know, it's okay to want material things and prioritizing yourself over other people's opinions and their decisions. Anything to add before I go to the next slide? <laughs> do prioritize yourself and you don't. And the thing is, you're already supportive. It's built in. Don't mm, worry. Yeah. If you're with the right people, you will prioritize them and support, but not you prioritizing yourself. Yeah, you have to support yourself before you can support anyone else. Yeah. If you're, I mean, what, what are, what are we gonna, are we gonna build a house in a rotting foundation? Right. How right. well yeah. is that house supported with a rotting foundation? And so, the best thing you can do if you want to support another person, you start supporting yourself, and yeah. then you can build a solid house on a solid foundation right? right that's that's what they have to understand nope it just comes through in the now um that ego speaks very much in the current if we don't mm -hmm. put it in the now it's in the current it's so these are some there. little tips for the very um challenging authority <laughs> Um, so gathering information is one good way to go about it, right? Just like talk, talk about it to as many people as you can. Um, don't think about the details of the thing you want. Just talk, talk, talk. And again, it'll eventually just spill out. Um, when you are stuck in analysis paralysis mode, which is probably going to happen, um, same thing, white light coming down and picture going into your heart and then, you know, have a hand over your heart and say things out loud while you have your hand over your chest. Um, and when you have your, your chest feeling expanded, that could also be a sign that, you know, whatever this thing you want is for you. And if you're kind of caving in, that could be hesitation or maybe that's not yeah. the right timing, right? So it doesn't need, you know, the, your body speaks to you even if your throat maybe is not saying it. So this is another right. way to look at it. Um, and don't be afraid to ask yourself really uh, difficult questions uh, to get that information and to figure out your truth. And, and if you really want to experiment with who's right for you, don't forget to ask challenging questions of the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Can I add something about uh, inner authority? Again, mm -hmm. they all go to different parts inside our physical body. And there are mm -hmm. physical actions. As a manifester, I've learned there are actions we can take to support the physical body. So, for example, the spleen is deeply connected to the immune system, the lymphatic system. We can work with the lymphatic system. We can do things like dry brushing, lymphatic drainage, lymphatic padding. We can work with our actual immune system to support our inner authority. Well, when you have a um, ego authority, you can work with your actual heart, working with your cardiovascular system, using things like cacao that are actually heart opening uh, mm. tools, things like meditation, which are actually um, scientifically proven to increase coherence between the brain and the heart, which then opens up the heart. And so thinking about inner authority in context of the physical body is actually super supportive, just giving it and which is, again, such an ego thing. Yeah, let's support. Thing. Yeah. Let's support the heart. Let's make the yeah. heart strong. You know. The, think of so these keynotes of support and sensitivity. The sensitivity to that support, just the sensitivity generally. Um, think of how that manifests itself coming out of just this channel. You know, that's I, I can imagine this as a profound process because they don't always want to be sensitive to something. It might slow down the ego movement, which does charge along. Yeah. Well, at the same time, they can never leave it behind, ever. And so there's this giant balancing act that they understand it's the right support they're giving and or the right support they're getting. And they certainly will know quickly that other people are not sensitive towards them. So go figure. The big strong man with the big fat ego is very concerned with the sensitivity of certain aspects of how the support is laid out. Yes, yeah. it's true. And there's still a great big strong lumberjack man. You know, he can have it all. And uh, yeah. it all goes around plenty for everyone. This yeah, is, this if you amazing, have Tricky. if you have a friend, if you have a, a a manifester friend with a defined ego or an ego manifester friend, the best thing you could do for your friend is support them.
be sensitive to what they want. Just like you said, Danny, like they, mm -hmm. they are. And, and the thing about a manifester is that we have closed and repelling auras. So we right. come off as difficult and unknown and difficult in the struggle. But the truth of all of that is inside of this hard shell are very fragile little five-year-olds who a have beautiful been told their whole lives what they can't do. Flower that wants to grow big. Yeah, it really, really, really is. It really, really, really is. Wants so. to go meditate. <laughs> meditate, but here's here's a little tidbit to add to the meditating is picture your life without things in your way. Because that's Ooh. one of the things that manifestors are always facing, blockers. Yeah. Picture this yeah. <laughs> this wonderful life without all those things getting in your way. What and a great idea. Feel yeah. it in your body. Like feel, what does that feel like in your chest? How does that make it feel? What's mm -hmm. come out of that? Oh, that actually feels ooh, even good ooh. for me. What, that's, what? that's the it's easy. Mm, it's easy to take it's action easy. and it's easy to it's do easy. this. And yeah. it's easy. What you it's just easy said. To speak ooh, up. Ooh, ooh, same easy. Yes, girl. I love that. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you know, if not everyone is into meditating, journal journal freely about the things you want and how you want to see them happen without you know fear that someone's going to read these and think uh you're a type of way just give yourself permission to write whatever you want in there um and then affirm your self-worth like you are worth more than you'll ever give yourself credit for like tressa and you know danny have been like banging home over and over again there's a lot of wounding there that needs to be you know, gently massaged out of you over your lifetime. <laughs> so mm. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I am more than enough. <laughs> I am so much more than enough. Um, and do a workout routine that supports your heart. Like Tressa already said, <laughs> she's gone over these without even looking. It's like- Tressa takes me on a walk. That's where right? I talk to her half the time is when you're on a it walk is. somewhere or doing a thing. And mantras, cause again, uh, you have your throat um, as a very important center as a manifester. So saying affirmations and mantras out loud that make you feel good about yourself and the things you want. And then study people that ex achieve the success and the wealth that you look up to. Like get inspired, yeah. read their stories and be like, you know what? If they could do it, there's room for me. And remember to measure your wealth, not against money. Although money is important. Your wealth yes. is measured against your mm -hmm. peace. Yeah. Get those two freaking straight, you know, measure yeah. it against your piece of, of how it feels with it all and the actual resources that are available for the things you love and care about and support and are sensitive to in the first place. Mm -hmm. yeah.